you guys have to know that there is a power that is operative within the human psyche. It's fearless. I'm telling you now that there is a force dynamic operative within your being that when you act as if you are, you will be. When you act as if you are, the simulacrum knits the necessary circumstances in your life to make what it is you're acting like come to pass. In our everyday lives, we always live out the fictions until they become fact. We do this. This is exactly why the media is the way it is. Remember, I've said this in past videos, critics are raving. What? The movie hasn't even come out yet. But critics are raving. It hasn't happened. It's a fiction, but it's, but it's about to be perpetuated as fact. Over and over and over, the media saturates us with absolute deceit, deceptions. We accept this herd mentality. It's reflected back into the holosphere's fact. All of a sudden, that product has a million sales. They do it to us all the time. But you can do the exact same thing that's done in the collective, in the personal. In the personal, we have great power to knit circumstances out of nothing. Ex nihilo. There is a quantum aspect to the human psyche that is not well recognized. Many people have touched upon it in the Law of Attraction videos, Law of Attraction books, the book of the, the, book the Secret and all that. But there's more than just mentalism involved. There's more than the intent or the desire. Many people have desired to have a million dollars and they're dead broke. Many people have emotionally pled their hearts out to God to deliver them from diseases and maladies and they died in the hospital. It's because they're leaving out an element that the simulacrum requires to take a fiction and turn it into a fact. Oh my God. Even a soundproof studio can't knock that out. I got a guy that lives about a quarter of a mile from me. When he, when he, when he comes near my property, he's got, he's got like 18-inch speakers in his truck. It's, it's crazy. I don't know. I can't, I can't sit in the cab of a truck with that type of noise. I will chew my teeth out. Uh, I can't do it. And I love music, but I just can't. That's just too loud. So, as an informed field, your mind is the only thing that's really real about you. All the rest of this is just carrying, carrying your mind away. And your brain is housing, housing it. It's the center of activity. It's, the brain is where the central nervous system jacks into the actual mind. The mind is the soul, the spirit. So, you, when you actually do something, it's because the mind has sent out the appropriate signals to make the hands and the feet and your body follow through on something. That is information that is being sent out of the brain case into the rest of the body. The central nervous system is conveying this information. The simulacrum is a very, very receptive field. We're talking, we're talking about 200 years ago, they described it, the metaph metaphysicians described it as the ether, A-E-T-H-E-R. The ether being this feel, operative field around us that accepts signals and then modifies reality. The ether is a pretty good deal. I see it a little bit differently. I do see it as a simulacrum. I see it as a, a holography. I see it as a sentient living biogram that we are immersed within. And there is an interactive field between those of us that are within this biogram and the biogram itself. It feels us. It can anticipate us. But it cannot read our thoughts. Because our brain doesn't really think. Thought generates all kinds of... Uh, chemical activities in the brain and it's the brain that produces the endorphins and the and the cortisol and all the hormonal hormonal reactions to whatever is being thought but the actual thoughts are not in the brain they're in your real your real personality your real soul your immortalhood that's where they that's where they are if there is something in, in your life that you're aiming to possess then you have to create the informed field to possess it. 
You can't continue to live your life as if you don't have it because the simulacrum on a daily basis as you go to sleep and you're jacked back into the holography and you're going through your next uploads because every time you go to sleep you receive all the potentia for the next day, the next awake period. Potentia is all the myriads of timelines that you could be living but even the simulacrum doesn't know which. Because the simulacrum is a fixed holography and it knows what, what the collective is going to experience and on what dates in the future it's going to experience. Because the holography is absolutely fixed in the collective, but nothing is fixed in the personal. Nothing at all. This is why all hell could be bro breaking loose around you in your immediate environment, but the still, calm, cool, and collective mind will be untouched by it all. You're not, you're not receiving this information from somebody who is a theoretician. Theoretician, I'm not. I'm telling you a fact that I have lived and I, I, have, I have experienced over and over and over. I have been on cell blocks where there's no escape. It's concrete and bars. I have been within five feet of men that were getting steel pushed into their bodies. I have been in the middle of riots. I have been in racial riots. I have been chased with a knife across a wreck yard, and I don't know where in the hell I got the strength and stamina that I got to stay away. But let me tell you, the informed fields that you carry with you every day allow you to insulate yourself from everything that the collective goes through. Because in the personal, Jesus said it perfectly, you are gods. There is no doubt about it. But that applies only to each individual in the personal, because there are two yous. Which one of those yous you want to be entirely depends on you. You can be the you that's a part of the herd and the collective, and you have been many times in your past, and so have I. The feeling of being neutralized, just going with the crowd, unable to speak up, unable to do anything, just frozen in stasis, experiencing the reality tunnels of others because you're trapped inside them. We've all been there. But there's another you. Every single one of us alive, except the NPCs. They're not really alive. But every single one of us, there's another one of us, there's another personality that is absolutely brimming with potentiality. And potentiality, in the quantum, in the quantum parlance, potentiality is potentia. It means a force that is capable of, of doing anything. And every time you go to sleep, every time you go to sleep, you are jacked back into the simulacrum, back into the, through the central nervous system. You are shut down completely as myriads of reality tunnels are analyzed and those that you will probably follow, the person you will be tomorrow is basically all laid out for you. You don't have to follow it. I have a video about breaking pattern and what it does and how the simulacrum is actually thrown off. How you can fool the simulacrum and how you can induce the simulacrum itself to create new circumstances for you totally different than anything you've ever experienced before. And it's because you break pattern. Go back and watch that video. It's called Breaking Pattern. But that video has a very profound secret about basically fooling reality because we're living inside a very advanced biogram. In our vernacular, we call it artificial intelligence. We call it AI. We are living inside that. It is not a god. It is not all pervasive. It's not omnipotent. It can't even read your thoughts, but it can surmise what you're thinking because it can read your endorphin levels. It can read your cortisol levels. It can read your, your physicality. It can read your all eye twitches. It can measure every aspect of your central nervous system and pretty much guesstimate where you are at an emotional level at any time in your life. But you are an immortal being trapped within a simulacrum that just can't, it can't peel back the brain and look into it. It can't look into your mind because it's the only thing that's absolutely separate from the simulacrum itself. This is why when you go to sleep, you are absolutely unconscious. You're gone. You're, you're completely gone. The simulacrum cannot, cannot overcome the individual immortal soul. I tell you all the time, 
we are more than we suppose ourselves to be. And I'm not just trying to give you a pep talk. 